Hello everyone and thanks for taking the time to check out my channel. Super Bowl Sunday, it's finally here guys and what I'm going to be doing in this video for this Super Bowl Sunday is making what I call a game day jailhouse burrito. Now, what makes it a game day jailhouse burrito? The ingredients. The ingredients guys. Some of the stuff going into this burrito, in my opinion, would make great snacks at a uh, Super Bowl get together. And what we're going to do is throw everything together to make something amazing. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, what a jailhouse burrito is or how to make one, check out some of my other videos. I have some how-tos that I think would really help you out. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now what's going into this burrito is a knockoff brand of Doritos, and then we have a garlic-flavored summer sausage that we're going to chop up, and that will be our meat in the burrito. And then we have some shredded mozzarella and shredded cheddar. And, of course, you got to have your ramen noodles and your water. And then we have two small bags of Cheez-Its. And then we're going to try something a little bit different for this burrito. We're going to do a nice dollop of extra crunchy Skippy peanut butter that we're going to put into the microwave. We're going to let it get runny, put it in for about 30 seconds, then we're going to add that into the mixture. Now I think that's going to add a nice little bit of sweetness and a little bit of crunch from the peanuts. Okay, first things first guys, let's get our chips crushed up into a nice fine powder. Okay, we have our chips crushed up into a nice fine powder. Next, we're going to move on to the ramen, and we're going to want to crush that up as well. Now, before you start crushing these up, guys, you can go ahead and take out the seasoning packet. We're not going to need that. And next, we're going to go ahead and get some of the summer sausage cut up. And while you're watching, guys, do me a favor real quick and go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and when you're done with this one, go check out my other videos. I have well over a hundred at this point. You know, I've never had garlic flavored summer sausage. I'm just curious how this tastes. That's pretty good, guys. That's going to go well on that burrito. Mm-hmm. Okay, next we're going to take all of our chip powder and our crushed ramen noodles and add that all together in the one big chip bag. And now we're putting in the ramen. Okay, now before we uh, heat up the water and add that in, let's add our cheese. I will also be adding the salami. You could do this after the water, but in my opinion, this just makes everything a lot easier. All I'm going to do is roll up the bag a little bit and then just kind of rock it back and forth to get everything mixed up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and heat up our water in the microwave for about uh, two and a half to three minutes. And then we will add that to our chips. And after that, we will go ahead and get our peanut butter ready to put in. And after that, we should be ready to go ahead and roll it up and put it in a towel for about uh, 10, 15 minutes. And it'll be ready to eat. I'm going to do about that much. And we'll get that nice and melty in the microwave. Okay, we got our water nice and hot. We're going to go ahead and pour that in. Now the water, you're just going to kind of have to get a feel for exactly how much you need. Throw a little bit in, give it a feel, and add more as needed. 30 seconds and that peanut butter got nice and melty. Okay, we got everything in there, guys. The water's been added, the peanut butter is melted and in there. And I got to tell you, the smell coming off of this thing is making my mouth water something fierce. This is going to be really good. Okay, what we're going to do next, uh, go ahead and get it wrapped up in some paper towel. And you don't have to do that, but I do that because... After you get everything made, what you want to do is wrap it up in a towel. Now, I do the paper towel because I don't want to mess up my towel. You know, sometimes uh, some of the juices from this thing will kind of run out of the bag, and you don't want that getting on your towel. So let's go ahead and get that wrapped up. Now, when I get this done, guys, I think what I'm going to do, because that peanut butter smells so good in there, I think what I'm going to do is melt a little bit more and then just uh, drizzle some of it on top of this thing. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap it up in the actual towel. And then we're going to let it sit for a while. There is no set amount of time to let this sit. It's just kind of up to you. I'm going to do about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, we got that wrapped up. And we're going to let that sit for a little bit. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, unwrap this and get it onto a plate. See how it looks. And uh, while I'm doing this, guys, if you could take a second, go ahead, like this video, comment, subscribe. That'd really be appreciated. It really helps me out. There we go. Give you a shot of this before we go ahead and uh, drizzle the top with peanut butter. All right, we're going to go ahead and 
drizzle the peanut butter over the top of this and then it will be ready to eat. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and try this thing out. See how it is? Oh, I got a little bit of everything in that bite right there. Mmm. That is really good. Amazing, actually. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and end this video and enjoy a little bit more of this. Please take the time to like this video, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos. And you guys have a great Super Bowl Sunday and uh, hope you enjoy the game tonight. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Have a good one.